Hello everyone, Creeper Craft Guy here, and welcome back to another episode of Danganronpa V4 Rocky Restarts. Um, where we last left off, uh, I like my hair. Uh, where we last left off, um, we we bonded a bit more. We met this weird new character. I don't quite know what she's about, but um, what happened is we met them. And, uh, and we left off in this weird, mysterious little scene with Harmony, uh, talking with Monokuma, I think, I'm not quite sure, but it's a bit suspicious, so let's, let's take a look. Oh, by the way, my throat hurts a bit more today, so I'm not gonna do the Monokuma voice as well as I usually do, so, hope you can forgive, hope you can forgive me. Harmony! Uh... What? Come on now! It's recording! Wait, you didn't even give me a countdown! Ching! Just start! <clears throat> hey! Hello! Welcome to the Ultimate Camp's first ever killing game video log! I really don't want to be here, but Monokuma decided I'd be the first ever interviewee for whatever reason. Oh. Alright, are we like broadcasting this? Uh, sorry, let me just sort my camera out. Anyways, back to the script. Monokuma wants me to ask a couple of questions, so ask away. Now then! Alright, so for our first question, what do you think of your talent? What do you- what do your family and friends think? What do I think of my talent? Well, I think it's great, obviously. It took a lot of work to get Ew, it. Oh no! My friends? Well, they suck in a leeches, so their opinion doesn't matter. <laughs> And my family's proud of it. They don't exactly love what I do with it, but they're happy to say our daughter is an ultimate. Nothing says proud of your daughter like kicking them out of the house because of a stupid lyric they wrote. Mm. Oh! You're an embarrassment. Why would you talk about such vulgar things? Ugh, I'm an adult. I can write about whatever I want. What? I see. As for the next question, who is your favorite person here? Anyone you want to have an alliance with? Huh. Yeah. Alexander's kind of cute. We even got along at breakfast this morning. Autumn's also also seems nice. And Kim. I'm pretty sure everyone here is an alliance, so this question's kind of dumb. Just like this whole interview. <laughs> I have one more question. If you had to kill someone here, who would it be? Huh? Um... You? Yeah, okay. Who would you kill other than me? Sure. I guess Melody, since she's an easy target. I don't have anything against her necessarily. I mean, she's kind of annoying. Idiot. And dumb too. Like, who actually thinks ghosts are real? All right. Bye. -bye. Thank you for your time. <laughs> okay. Are we gonna get these then? These are interesting. What the heck? Why did Monokuma interview Harmony? And did she know we we could watch that? She was talking about us like we couldn't hear her. I continue to read my book for a while. All the books on my bookshelf seem to be either related to my talent or of a genre that I typically enjoy. Some of them are even novels my sister has recommended, which I wouldn't typically read. How would Monokuma have known to give me these books? Creepy. Oh god, if we saw that, oh god, Melody's not gonna be happy, is she? Hey, I swear I didn't know! And he made me say those things, for real! Huh? Oh god, this is so embarrassing. Yeah, I knew it. I should go see what's up. They're probably fighting, aren't they? Melody and... Uh, what do you call it? Yes, yes they are. This is horrible. Melody, I swear, I would never hurt you. Harmony, I'm not even that mad. Melody, please don't be mad at me, I'm sorry. Hey, hey what's going on? Honey. Harmony's overreacting and thinks I hate her. Oh, okay, never mind. Monokuma told me the interview was just for logging my mental state, not that he was going to show everyone! You said, hey everyone, at the start, and you still thought he wasn't showing everyone? I thought it was like referring to people in the future watching the video or whatever. Oh my gosh, and I said Alexander was cute too. This is so embarrassing! Yeah, pretty much. You sure did. It's okay, Harmony. If it makes you feel better, I'd also kill Melody! Oh, okay. What? Oh, so Monokuma didn't let you know it was being shown to us? Yeah. He came into my room and told me he wanted to interview me. Of course I said no, but then he pulled out that remote and threatened to shock me, so I just gave in. Then he told me he was going to ask some questions to judge my current mental state and that no one else would see the video. Nah. Which was obviously a damn lie. He just wanted to start shit with that, who would you kill question. But yeah, that's what happened. Interesting. 
I wonder why he chose you first. Mel, I promise I won't kill you. I'm serious. You better not hate me because Will of this. I that. already said that I don't hate you. Idiot. Anyways, you guys are dumb. See ya. What the hell? So, we'll all be getting interviewed, yeah. huh? Yeah, unless that was a one-time thing just for Harmony. I wonder who he's gonna do next. Oh, I hope me and Sucky are next! Oh, I'll let him do the talking. He already knows what to say. Did you just call him Suki? Then make up your mind! I'm not very good with interviews. I always end up saying something that gets a bunch of people mad at me. I know the feeling. So, should we lie during the interviews? My lying skills are not favorable. I'm not a liar. If he asks me something, I'll tell it how it I is. I don't agree. When he's asking us questions that are obviously bait, I think lying would be fine. If I get interviewed, it would probably be best to lie. I don't want to start any drama or anything. <laughs> oh? What's that? It's already seven? Well, me and Sucky better get started with dinner. Come on, Sucky. Let's go grab Nora. See you later. Well, see you guys tonight. Yeah, see you guys later. Hey! Hey, Kim. Wanted to ask. Do you want to go on a run tomorrow with Julie and Glenn Autumn and I? Mm -hmm. Oh, sure. That sounds fun. What time? 9 a.m. tomorrow. We'll meet up by the bus. I already came up with a path to run, too. All right. But just to be aware, I tend to get really competitive with, like, races and stuff. But this is just a chill run, so that shouldn't be an issue, right? <laughs> I get you. I get pretty competitive, too. Uh... Like, this one time at one of my very first races, I ran with a sprained ankle because I didn't want the guy to have the satisfaction of winning. I'd never do that now, but yeah, that basically proves I'm more competitive than you. Yeah, well, one time I... <laughs> oh, I get it. You're trying to start an argument on who's more competitive. Nah, I'm just more competitive than you. See you later. Anyways, see you tomorrow, Kim. The rest of the day is relatively uneventful. I love this game! Like, like <laughs> this is an underrated fan guide. It really is. Oh yeah, this got added to the fan guide romper wiki recently, which I thought was really good. Harmony explains the interview situation to the people who weren't at the discussion earlier, then we all eat Autumn's dinner. I sit next to Glenn again, and he still looks really tired. I gave him the suggestion maybe of getting some sleeping pills at Chinatsu's shop. Apparently he hadn't checked out the new area, so he had no idea who Chinatsu even was. I can tell the idea gives him some hope. After dinner, I go back to my cabin and slowly drift off to sleep. Oh, okay, this is just a transition. I'm like, what the hell? What am I doing? I'm just sitting on Earth. Oh, <laughs> okay. Ugh, stupid alarm. I sluggish to drag myself out of bed and get some new clothes. Oh, I didn't realize we had sprite edits of, like, edits, I say. They're official sprites. Um, ward most of my wardrobe is just duplicates of the same clothes I brought here. There's also a swimsuit, some extra pajamas, and a gym uniform. Oh, that reminds me! I need to meet with Alexander for our run. I should wear the gym uniform for that. Anyways, I better go to the diner for breakfast. Right, um, please don't tell me someone's dead. I mean, I, I don't want anyone to be dead, but I also kind of want to get to the class trial quickly. Morning. Can I talk to you? Nope, I cannot. What's going on here then? Ah, uh, naturally I'd have to talk to Glenn. Does Angela look different, or is it just me? Or is she- wait, no, it was- This is probably her third one, right? Whoa! Whoa, Glenn, are you alright? Oh, he has bags under his eyes, I didn't notice. Glenn? Hey. Ah, uh, oh, oh, hey, Kim. Sorry, I was just dozing off a little bit. Glenn, how much sleep have you gotten? You don't look very great. Well, I got none last night. I was working to get up some monocoins. So you stayed up all night working? And for what? What did you do? Uh... Easy stuff. Sorting stuff in the storage room, washing clothes, doing dishes. But I have good news. I'm almost able to afford the sleeping pills you told me to get. Monokuma make them super expensive because you can use them to murder someone pretty easily. Do you really need them that bad? Why don't you just go to sleep normally? You look like you're about to pass out. Trust me, I'm not. <laughs> uh -huh. He's basically been awake for two days straight. Didn't Alexander say he was one of the ones going on us with the run? He can't go like Glenn, this. Come on. Glenn, after breakfast, I want you to go back to your cabin and go right to sleep. You can't be pushing yourself like this. No, no, I'm fine. I already told Alexander I'd do something with him after this. Yeah, the run? I'm going too. You can just tell him you can't go, I'm sure he'd understand. But, 
I really want to go. I'll be fine. Kim, you really don't need to worry about me. I'm not even that tired anymore. I'll probably have mo even more energy after breakfast. And this run might help me trust Alexander, Julian, and Orton. And then I won't have to worry about them doing anything to me. <sighs> well, I can't control what you do. Just be careful. Don't overwork yourself. Feeling a mixture of irritation and sadness for Glenn, I realize it's probably not my place to decide what's best for him. I just don't get what's keeping him up. I can barely do a single all-nighter. How has he done two plus physical work? I just try to take my mind off it by talking to Marie, Victor, and Julian. Who was it that was coming with us? I, I didn't... I think it was... Oh yeah, it was these, it was yeah. these guys. So, are you chumps ready? Heck yeah! Me and Saki are gonna be so fast! I'm ready too! I guess I'm ready. Whoa. Glenn, are you alright? Yeah. Yeah. I just, uh, didn't get much sleep last night. Or any at all. I told him we should have just stayed in his cabin to get some rest, but he insisted. That isn't right. Dear, sleep is important. I used to stay up night after night when Saki first arrived, and it ruined me. Of course, I realized he was friendly and everything went back to normal. What the? <laughs> Guys, I'll be fine. I'll have stuff that'll help me sleep tonight. Are you sure? I've fought off bears, not eaten for days, fallen from massive height. A little run isn't gonna hurt me. So, yeah, don't worry about me. <laughs> Alright, just know we won't be slowing down for you. <laughs> uh, yeah. Ah. Uh. <laughs> oh, I, I love these little artwork, even though it's mostly pretty inconsistent sometimes. Um. That is Julian, yeah. I was about to ask, isn't that Hunter? No, that's Julian. There. Wait, where is- oh yeah, this is from- of course. I was wondering, where's this music from? This is from Ultimate Talent Development Plan. Alright. I love these little CGs. At the start, I decided to stay near the back with Glenn just to make sure he's alright. But then Alexander decided to taunt me, which really brought up my competitive spirit. Eventually, all thought- all thought of Glenn had been replaced by the insatiable need to completely destroy Alexander in this race. Kim, you know this isn't a race, right? <laughs> While running, I look back and notice Autumn and Julian talking. So yeah, that's basically how I got into gardening. Really? That's crazy. Your mom sounds like a weirdo. I actually used to get bullied for my talent too. Really? How? Hmm. Well, the other police officers at my station thought my dad was the reason I even got anywhere in the ranks. My dad's actually the chief of police in my town, but I guarantee all my achievements were because of me. They just won't listen because they never see my abilities. Uh... Your abilities? Yeah, I can interrogate people, like, really good, to where they always tell the truth no matter what. Oh? Whoa, really? How does that work? A magician never reveals his secrets. <laughs> hmm. And also, I, I, and I also don't really know how it works myself. I guess it's just a talent I was born with. Oh, well, that's really cool, darling. Huh? Wait, Julian, wouldn't a skill like that be really good for this? Huh? If someone got killed, couldn't you interrogate everyone here until you got to the right person? <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot this was a murder thing. But, uh, sadly, no. Oh? Why's that? When I interrogate someone, they'll never be able to look at me the same. And I don't want to ruin the way people look at me in this. That's how you become a target, right? Interrogating is also really tiring. And let's not forget the ethical issue. Yeah. I'll only use it if I absolutely need to. Well... He's not proven himself to be a very good cop so far. Like, I mean, of course, he couldn't have attacked Monokuma because he would have seriously hurt himself if that had happened. But, um, but still. Hmm, alright. Julian seems like a really useful person to have around now. I need to make sure he's on my good side. Gah, why am I treating this like a game? I should focus on everyone, I should be on everyone's good side. Gosh, I should just get back to destroying Alexander. How is he that far ahead? Typical. <laughs> Typical. Come on, kid. You're going about as fast as me when I'm walking. Oh, shut up. Glenn did nothing there. Oh, oh. Oh, Melody, why don't we get started? Interview number two, here we go. Uh... Hi, I'm being interviewed. S start. Huh? Well, that wasn't what the script said. So, first question. Is your show fake? Whoa! No! No, it isn't! Everything's completely real! Well, that sure got you going. Stop lying! I found a video of your camera guy saying everything's faked. The videos weren't even that hard to find. 
Correction, he was my ex-cameraman, and I fired him because of that video. Yeah. And he also does drugs, so he was probably high during that video and lying or something. So yeah, all the events on my show are real, period. Of course! Alright, well, next question. What's the scariest thing that's ever happened to you? Oh, easy. I was harassed by a poltergeist for a week. I felt weak, dizzy, and had a terrible headache for seven days straight. It's quite obviously draining my life Less force. Paranormal it, would also activity. it would also move objects while I wasn't looking. It was by far the creepiest part to me. Luckily, my mom seemed to get rid of it by calling some maintenance people. I guess the rando showing up scared it away. Um... Are you sure that wasn't a gas leak or something? Gosh, why does everyone say that? That was just carbon monoxide poisoning, not a real ghost, honey. Well, then how did it move stuff, Dad? Egg. He's a ghost hunter, too. He should know this stuff. Uh-huh. Anyway, I say you killed... S let's... Sorry, let's say you killed someone and got away with it. Who would you choose to survive with you? Oh, okay, now you're getting into the proactive question. Provocative, sorry, not provocative. Yeah. All right, my answer is Angela. And why is that? I don't know, I just thought of a random person. Monokuma, I barely know these people at all. We all met like two days ago. I don't really care about anyone. That's a good point. That's a good point. <coughs> like, why would the motive... This is kind of a silly motive. Is why would they be like, oh, um... Oh, uh, the motive is if you kill someone, you can then pick another person. But we don't know each other. We don't know what kinds of people we are. We didn't even know that, like... We didn't even know that Angela had split personality disorder until the day that Monokuma announced the motive. We know nothing about each other. Well... I wouldn't want anyone to die necessarily, but like, if someone did, I wouldn't grieve or anything. And like, I certainly wouldn't risk my life to save any of these people. So basically, what I'm saying is your motive sucks. Eh, fair yeah. enough. Well, thank you for your time, Melody. I'm sure everyone will be thrilled to hear that you don't care about them. Hey, I'm just saying it how it is. I'm sure everyone feels the same. Thank you for being honest. Yeah. So yeah, that's the story of my worst stalker. That's crazy. He hid in your attic for a month? Okay, I'm hoping she was lying. I mean, she probably is. Yep. Me and my grandparents moved houses right after that. Oh, you live with your grandparents? Mm-hmm. Ever since my parents decided I was too much of a burden to take on their stupid trips, I've been living with my grandparents. I could move out whenever I want, but my grandparents enjoy my company. People also love to see them in my videos, so... Hi! Hey guys, sorry I'm late. Trust me, you do not want to pet the raccoon out there. They are not very friendly. Anyways, about the interview... Egg. Angela, I only said I'd pick you because you were the first person I thought of, so like, none of you guys should be jealous or anything. Why is she looking at me like that? This is personality three, it's gotta Angela? be. Angela? She's Are been you... staring at me like this ever since we got here. Angela, what's up? Yeah. She probably doesn't like that Melody says she doesn't care about us or whatever. And she probably hates Dennis's hair. Like, just look at that mess. No. <laughs> no, that's not the issue. Well, then what is the issue? Don't talk to me. I don't want to talk about it. Anyways, sorry if, you know, yesterday was a bit of a shock. I was gonna try to hide it, but she didn't agree. And she's probably right. Trying to hide that part of me would only make my time here worse. I'm glad. Sweetie, I'm glad you're not hiding it. I think we all understand and support you. It's also kind of cool. The reason I actually accepted the invitation in the here in the first place was to try to be open. But the murder stuff kind of scared me away from saying anything. So yeah, sorry for not saying anything sooner and leaving it up to Marina. It's totally fine, Angela. We I'm understand. Glad. I'm glad. And, uh, I just thought I'd let you guys know. I have a couple more altars. Well, a lot more. But only a couple ever really show. Uh... So, you guys will probably be meeting a couple more of them. Great. More names to remember. They actually don't really have names yet, so don't worry about that. You know, Jesse, complaining doesn't help anyone. Hmm. <laughs> I can feel a very negative presence in this room. So negative, and I can't te even tell of its origin. However, I suspect the origin is you, Jesse. Ah, oh, shut up. While Hunter's talking, I feel a tap on my Kim. shoulder. Kim? I kind of want to discuss something with you. So this is the negative energy Hunter is feeling. Oh, sure, Glenn. What's up? So, I haven't told you why I can't go to sleep. And... 
think I should probably tell you now. Oh no. Because now that it's night and dark out, I'm getting a lot of anxiety. Hey, what's happening? Is Glenn yeah. alright? Yeah, he's just telling me something right now, and I'm not sure he really wants anyone else. It's fine. I think I can trust them with this. Alright? Well, what is it? So, as you guys know, I haven't slept all that much in the past two days. Uh... And that's because I have a massive fear of being murdered. Well... I mean... We all? <laughs> no, but like, my fear is really bad. Like a phobia. And now that I'm in this situation, gosh, every night I spend hours trying to fortify my room so that no one can break in. And then when I finish that, I spend the rest of the night with eyes wide open staring at my door, freaking out over someone waking up to go to the bathroom. I'm seeing some real death flags right now from Glenn. I'm not sure. It's so weird. I think Monokuma wants me to be killed. My door could easily be easily broken down. My walls are paper thin. I can hear every sound everyone anyone makes all night. He knows my fear and is trying to make me a target. I'm gonna be the first death. Hey. Hey, Glenn, calm down. My walls are paper thin too. All of our rooms are like that. Exactly. I don't think Monokuma's targeting you, Glenn. And even if he was, none of us would hurt you, I promise. You know... I've always imagined myself dying from an animal attack, or a fall, or of hunger, and I've always taken comfort in that. That's how my brother went, oh, and that's how I want to go too. No. And of course, the one time I get out of my comfort zone and go somewhere with a bunch of people, it's this. I'm gonna die an unnatural death, and it's not the way I've wanted to go my whole Glenn. life. Glenn, I'm certain we're gonna be found within the next few days, and then we'll all be taken back to safety. See, I don't understand this. I don't really understand this. If Victor is so scared of us suspecting him because of his Monokuma-themed pins, why doesn't he just take them off? Like, I mean, or are they just stuck on his outfit? And if they are, can't he just leave his jacket off? I'm not sure. No one's gonna die. A bunch of Ultimates going missing is a big deal. I mean, they don't really know we're in trouble. We're meant to be here for three months. Hush. But yeah, we'll be fine. I'm pretty sure the worst group to peop of people to kidnap would be a bunch of ultimates. No way. We're smart enough to figure out a way to escape this place. We just need time. And a more unified group. I'm sure after a few more days we'll all be much more unified. So? I mean, just look at everyone right now. Angela seems more comfortable. We've eaten a couple meals Nora's had a part in making. Because she's been under, under autumn supervision. And we're already friends, right, Glenn? Friends? Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks, guys. I think I'm feeling a little less anxious. That's interesting. Uh, getting a bit of backstory from Glenn right here. Interesting. So his brother, his brother died of like a natural death. Um, I don't think he really specified what what caused his death. Um, like whether it was a bear or a fall or something. But he died quite naturally. He wasn't murdered. But. Thanks, guys. I think I'm feeling a little anxious. I mean, he was—he died of an accident, is what it means. And now that I have sleeping pills, maybe I'll actually be able to fall asleep oh. tonight. Oh! Oh, you got them? Yeah. Monokuma said he was amused by my running earlier, so he gave me the rest of the money I needed to buy them. I had to get Marcus to actually pay for them, though. The lady at the counter looked way too excited. Ah, yeah. She's something. Uh... She told me she shipped me with Dennis. Weird. <laughs> Oh my god, that's that's actually kind of funny. Oh. Um. Anyways, oh, he's crying. All this attention is making my eyes water. So I think I'm gonna go back to my cabin and try to go to sleep. All right, see you tomorrow, Glenn. Yep. Good night. See you tomorrow. Oh, is it nighttime? Oh yeah, it would be. Seriously? Yeah. Hey, where do you think you're going? Uh. Um. You haven't, I haven't even served dessert yet! Oh, no. You gotta say it's nicer. You sounded like you were gonna yell at him. Yeah, I forgot he was kind of a massive pussy. <laughs> hey, Rana's Missy! Oh, yeah, right. And I'm sorry. There you go, sweetheart. You're getting better what? already. Is she your mom or something? <laughs> nope, I'm just trying to reform her from her evil ways. Listen. 
AKA, I don't want you guys to be sketched out by my talent, so I'm working on my attitude. So yeah, she's basically being the mother I never had. Oh, sick. Yep. Anyway, let's go get the sweets. Heck yeah. yeah. Oh, bring me extra. <laughs> Again, I still love Jessie. I still think Jessie is amazing. New day. Ugh, I love this pajama sprite. Ugh, I wish I could just stay asleep forever. Oh, shoot, my alarm never went off. Stupid thing. And it's... Eight? I'm an hour late for breakfast and no one woke me up? Please don't tell me someone's dead. Anything up here? No. Anything down... It's like, I'm just checking because I feel like I'm really suspicious. I'm really sketchy right now. <laughs> God, I don't like this. Alright. Prediction is... Oh no, he's right here. Oh good. Oh! Angela looks different. She's, this is the next personality probably. Yo! Yo, it's Kim! Oh! Hello, Miss Kim! Oh, hello! You must be one I'm of... I'm Angie. Angela's artist? Yes, I go by Angie. Angie. Alright, that's easy to remember. Well, I'm Kim Davis, the ultimate mountaineer. Ooh. Ooh, mountaineer. Oh, yeah, I wanted to ask. What are everyone's ultimates? I'm the ultimate gardener. Ghost hunter. I'm the ultimate sprinter. I'm the ultimate survivalist. I'm the ultimate game show contestant. Ultimate carpenter here. Wait, go back? Me? No, before that. Oh, no, me. Yeah. Game. Show. What's going oh, on? Oh, gosh. Is this what I think it is? I'm... I'm... Listen, I really don't see how it's cheating when I use my natural ability to my advantage. This is how I was born. I'm gonna use it to succeed. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What? What is going on? Huh? I'll be right back. Aw. Hope she's uh... okay. What the hell was that? Hmm. So both Angie and Angela have issues with me. Both as soon as I tell them my ultimate. At first I thought she was one of the people who hate me because of my condition. Huh? But then she started saying sorry and crying? Trust me, it's the hair. Oh, shut up! You basically have the same hairstyle as him! No, it's gotta be my talent itself that they don't what like. What was that? I'm just glad she wasn't mad at me, like Angela was. You're right, she didn't seem to care about uh -huh. you. Well, we should go comfort her. We don't want her first experience with us to be crying alone in the bathroom, do we? Let me handle this. I'll go do it. Crying makes me cringe and I can hear her sniffing in there. Uh, uh Jesse? I'm not sure you'd be the best person for something like this. Trust me, I got this. Well... Well, let's hope he doesn't convince her to kill herself. <laughs> hmm. That reminds me. I should see if Glenn managed to get some sleep last night. He doesn't look much better. Hey. Hey, Glenn. Did you get any sleep last night? Yeah. I did for a little. Oh my gosh, really? How long? Not long at all. Kim, someone's trying to kill me. What? What, what happened? About five minutes after I finally fell asleep, I heard a jiggling on my doorknob, I swear. They couldn't get in since I locked my door, thank god. But someone tried. Someone in this room right now. They had to kill me. Hey, don't say that. Maybe it was Monokuma trying to mess with you. Yeah. Maybe it was Monokuma, but still, I don't want to risk it. It was most likely someone here. It... it could have been you. Maybe I shouldn't even be... Glenn, it was not me, I promise! Kim, you really never know in a place like this. I'm putting an awful lot of trust in you and I probably shouldn't be. Does he really think he can't trust me? I need to show him that I care for him. That he can trust me. Excuse hey, me? Hey everyone! What? Use your inside voice. Someone here tried to get into Glenn's room last night, and I want to know who that was and what reason they have for trying to enter someone's room while they're asleep. Anybody? Dramatic. Damn, girl, calm down. No, I will not calm down! My friend could have died and I will defend him! It was probably just Monokuma. You don't have to do oh, this. No. Oh no, my eyes are watering. Well, I want you all to know that I'll be Glenn's bodyguard for as long as we're here, and I don't want anyone messing with him. Funny, the ultimate survivalist needs a bodyguard. Kinda cute. Kim, meet me outside, I need to talk to you about something. In private. Alright, I'll be right out. 
Wow. Hey, Kim. It's a yep. I knew it. I knew it. The idea of dating in a dangerous situation like this has completely left my mind. He is my friend, and all romantic interest I would possibly have for him is gone due to the danger we are in. Ugh. Really? Uh, wait, Kim. What happened? Someone tried to break into Glenn's room? Yep. He said he heard his doorknob jiggling last night, like someone was trying to get in. Maybe they were just going to ask him a question? That late at night? Oh, God. So one of the people in this room might be trying to kill people? Hey, we don't know that. It could be Monokuma or Chinatsu. I thought Marcus is the killer. What? I think I got Let's it. Let's be honest. It was probably Nora. I bet she was trying to rob him. Oh, shut up, miss. I don't care about anyone here. Be nice, Nora. He also could have hallucinated someone trying to break in. Ah, oh, it's all going to hell. He hasn't slept in three days. Does anyone here sleepwalk? Maybe someone tried to get into his room while sleepwalking. Yeah, pretty much. It's probably Jesse. He seems like the murdering oh. type. Hey, that's not fair. He's not here to defend himself. Yeah, that's why I said it. I should probably go see what Glenn wants to talk wants to tell me. Ah, oh, Kim, what have you done? Kim, you really didn't have to do that. Mm -hmm. I know I didn't. I probably made you really uncomfortable. It sure did. But I want to show you that you can trust me. I'm your friend. Uh... I know, but Kim, I have an idea that'll keep me safe, and I need as little attention on me as possible for it to work. Oh? I'm gonna tell you since you're my friend, but you can't tell anyone else. Alright, what is it? I'll be fine. I think I'm gonna camp in the woods for the rest of this killing game, until everything's over. It'll be great. I'll be in my element. No one will be able to find me. I'll be able to sleep. What? Do you really think Monokuma would allow that? And if someone did find you and kill you, then we'd have no way to figure out who did it. I already asked Monokuma and he said it's fine, as long as I took my monopad and showed up to class trials. And I'll have weapons, I'll have energy, I'll be able to survive an attack from someone. I'm the ultimate survivalist, living in nature is my thing. What if you get attacked by an animal and we have no way of helping you? Glenn, I really don't like this idea! I know what I'm doing. Animal attacks are nothing, and that's how I want to go anyway. So if that happened, it'd be better than dying here. Glenn, come on. Would you really just leave all of us like that? I'm not gonna be leaving everyone. I'll still show up to class Excuse trials. Excuse me? Yeah, and that's if someone died! And you'd have no idea what had happened because you were off alone in the forest! I'm not sure how to explain to you how scary being murdered here is to me, and how bad I need sleep. And this plan feels like the only way I can truly- I can feel truly safe. Are you gonna tell Marie and Victor at least? No. No. Absolutely no one else can know about this. What if someone followed me while I left and then stalked me? And then they'd know where I'd be camping out? And then they could- That wouldn't happen, but alright, I get you. Good. Then don't tell anyone. <sighs> alright, alright. Just think about it a little more before you do anything. I will. And thanks for being my friend, Kim. That's the reason I wanted to come here. And I'm glad that even with this killing stuff, I'll still manage to make some friends. He's gonna die. Boring! I know he is. Isn't a place like this so boring? Boring? I mean, I guess a little bit. I thought we'd at least have some activities to do, but it seems Monokuma has really left us to ourselves. <laughs> I've been spending a lot of my time reading. It's actually not that bad. Ew, Kim's lame. Ew! <laughs> Shut up, Emily. You know, girls. You know, girlies. I'm starting to think that even home would be a better, be, would be better than this place. I think just about anything would be better than this Duh. place. Well, I don't know. Here, I don't have to worry about being kidnapped and murdered every second of the day, which is great. And like, I know none of you have the balls to kill me, so I think I'm pretty safe here. But this place is so boring that I think even being in constant fear of my life would be better. <coughs> Well, why are you in constant fear for your life at home? Yeah. yeah, that sounds fun! I pissed off all the wrong people when I was younger. They've been trying to take me out for years now. Luckily, I'm always one step ahead of them. Hey. Hey, you're the ultimate mountaineer, correct? No, I'm the ultimate carpenter! Uh, yeah, I am. Great. May I request your assistance with something? I don't really know where to stop on this one. I guess if this cutscene ends and we have to walk around, then yeah, I'll stop. Sure, what is it? I realize that the Busby road, road to get here never left, and perhaps there could be some useful info Suspicious. on it. Suspicious. Sadly, however, it has been very difficult to get into. I think it's someone more athletic may be able to get the door open. Alexander's been trying, but he quite obviously has minimal upper body strength. Oh, alright, I'll do it. And that's smart. I hadn't even realized that bus was still here. Yeah. Wow! I want to help too! I 
is what I would go watch, but I know you guys aren't going to get anywhere, so what's the point? Hey, don't think so negatively. Bye. Just being realistic. Alright. Um. Oh, cool. Autumn's here too. Alright. I don't quite know. Okay, let's do one more. I mean. Alright, let's climb over this. Yeah, let's just do this little bit. Dude, I doubt Kim will be able to do it if I couldn't. You don't know that. While they're talking, I grab the hand and begin to pull back as hard as I can. You can do it! No, you can't. You see. Hush. I'm using my abilities to give her strength. Your cheering is unnecessary. Yeah, this isn't opening anytime soon. Guys, I don't think I can do it. It won't even budge. Ha, <laughs> told you guys. Hey, guys. I think the entire engine was removed. Really? Really? And this certainly won't be used as an escape. Guess we'll have to move on to plan two then. Can one of you find us a decently sized rock? We're gonna try to break open a window. Ooh, let me do the smashing! Hey! Hey, don't you think Monokuma wouldn't want us destroying this? It doesn't say anywhere in the rules that we wouldn't be able to do this. And plus, I think he'd be here by now if he didn't want this. Oh, yeah, I guess so. Hey, Suki? You know, Saki's pot doesn't break. I could probably use him to break the windows. What? It doesn't break? Yeah, I, can remo I can't remove him from it either. He's so strong. Come on, Saki, stop hissing. Don't you want to help us out? I'm scared. Saki, please stop hissing. You're scaring me. What's going on? Interesting. Uh, moving on. I guess you can use the plant as a bludgeon if you'd like. Great. All right, Saki, let's beat this window up. Autumn then begins slamming Saki into the window Aww. over and over. Oh, I wanted to do it! Amazingly, Saki's pot really doesn't break, and Autumn's hitting the window pretty hard too. Absurd amounts of dirt flies everywhere though, like way more than I think the pot could hold. Well, the windows appear to be pretty strong as well. Autumn's not even making a scratch. Saki, stop screaming! I thought you liked hitting hey. things! Hey, Emily, what are you doing? Maybe I'll be able to open up the emergency exit! Why didn't we try that earlier? Urgh! It's stuck shut too. Ah, well... I guess this is a lost cause then. This is lame. Yeah, this sucks. Ah. Is Monokuma leaving us here to taunt us? Gosh, I hate this place. Hello. All right. So I guess we're moving on to Hunter's interview now. Um, I think this is a good enough place to actually end off. So I'm gonna stop the recording right here. And I will see you all in the next video. I'm hoping maybe, well, I, I'm, I wanna say I'm hoping but in the next episode, I'm I'm predicting that we might see the first murder happen. And as of such, I'm pretty excited because I want to get into the class trial. So for now, I will see you all in the next video. Bye-bye for now.